Hey, what's going on guys? It's Jay Fry, letting you know about this infrared in-air digital thermometer. I'm gonna talk about what I like about it, what I don't like about it, or if I even like it at all. I'll also let you know if it's worth it or not. Something you need to have or you can let it stay at the store. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and take this thing out the box and check it out, see what it do. While I do that, they give you guys enough time to go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you hadn't already done it. For those of you that have, I appreciate it. All right, so I was able to get it out the box, check it out, see what it do. It comes with the, the meter itself. You can see it there. Came with two batteries, which I already put in. A storage case. So you just slide it in there, put it up, put it in the cabinet, whatever. Comes with a manual. I don't know how many people read the manual. Y'all need to start reading the manual. Uh, and a probe filter. These right here, you're going to replace after each use. That's for your hygiene. Stick it in your ear. You don't want to stick it in somebody else's ear. That's kind of nasty. So that's kind of just going to go in there like that. You'll pop it on there. So some of the features I like about this thing, man, it's pretty fast and accurate. Takes every bit of a second to measure to measure your temperatures. I think that's pretty good. Also, it, it memorizes the last 10 readings. Something like that is going to be good for, for those long nights when you're monitoring temps. Kind of want to see your progress. Okay, of course it got a battery indicator. That should be normal. But the best thing I like about this one is the fever alert. So something like that is gonna be good for, especially the young parents that are checking their kids' temperature, see the temperature, then they say, damn, is it too high? But this right here is gonna pretty much let you know. The backlight is gonna light up red, alerting you to take action. Hey, reaching the temperature is too high. So I think that's pretty cool. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys how to use it. First thing you're gonna do is take one of these probe filters and you're gonna stick it right on there. It's pretty simple. You're just gonna stick it on there. And this little trigger right here, that's to release that. When you get ready, when you're done with it, you wanna throw it in the trash, just push that and release it. So in the front here, you have your power button, your temp button, then your menu. Yeah, at the bottom, that's the menu. So you're just gonna cut it on. Then it's just gonna light up do its little thing, and now it's letting you know it's ready. So on this display, it has the battery indicator, it has Fahrenheit or Celsius, whichever one you choose, and it shows that it's ready. It also has an indicator on there that's letting you know if you have this, this filter cap on there or not. That's pretty cool. So that's pretty much it, man. You put that on, and the only problem that I think some people may have with it, not many, is that you do have to make sure you get this thing in the ear canal. That could be a problem. And the way you're going to do that, man, you're just going to raise your ear up, raise it outward, I don't know. Whatever you got to do to make sure you get in the ear canal before you push the temperature button. So once you get it done, you'll push the temperature button. Then it's going to do its thing. It's that quick. Now, saying it's low, that means it's a low ambient temperature. For the simple fact, I'm not checking anything. Uh, let me go ahead and check my temperature. Yeah, that's pretty quick. So I'm running at 97.8. And it said it was a memory three. That's pretty much it, man. So when I'm done with it, I just go ahead and eject that, dispose of that thing. It, it should automatically shut off. That's what uh, the manual says. It automatically shuts off. But shut it off, put it in a storage case, and put it up. Overall, I think it's worth it. I would recommend you having this in your medicine cabinet if you don't already have it. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, go ahead and hit the like button for me. Leave a comment, tell me what you think. Other than that, I'm out.